So I hope everybody's doing well and I want to welcome you back to my channel. For those of you who are new, please consider subscribing to my channel. So first of all, I want to shout out thank you to my son, Seth Panda, or Panda Seth. He did my hair. I got some box dye, well, some dye from Sally's Beauty Supply and he was able to touch up my roots and I think he did a really good job. It looks pretty good, I have to say, and you know, I always feel better after I lighten up my roots because I feel like when my roots get dark, I feel like I have dirt in my hair and I need to wash it out. So anyway, on to what I'm going to do today. So I prepped my skin with skincare, um, hydrating, made sure it was hydrated. And I'm going to show you, oh, first I'll, I'll leave the Le Mer for last, but, so I got this Cheek Gelee, unfortunately, I can't remember, I don't think I got this one on sale, I got this from Nordstrom, and I got this shade, um, Happy, which is this l pretty light pink shade, and I'll smooth it out on my hand here. Kind of reminds me. It reminds me of bubblegum, but it shears out. It. I don't. I guess it has a little bit of a fragrance. It smells a little bit like I don't know. Product. So I'm obviously in buying the hummingbird collection, but I got both the the cool and the warm palette. I don't have the warm palette with me right now, so. I wasn't going to purchase this at all, but I am really glad I did. I like to purchase things that I find like unique or special or unusual. So here is the, it's the, is it finishing powder? Yeah. It's a finishing powder and it just comes, it just came in one shade. It's very, um, it's very soft. I think you can see that. Let me zoom in. It feels very, very soft. But you know what? Um, unfortunately, w the timing when I bought these products, I'm kind of bummed because I didn't get them on sale. There's been so many sales, and like they might, I don't know if they're still on sale, but either like there was 15 or 20% off at Nordstrom, Saks Fifth Avenue, or probably Neiman Marcus. But what I like about Nordstrom, I know I'm going on a tangent is Nordstrom doesn't charge you shipping. So when I was comparing buying some at Saks Fifth Avenue that was on sale versus Nordstrom on sale, to me I felt like Nordstrom was a better deal because they don't charge shipping. Um, because it was like by the time I compared the products, it was only like $4, $4 more at Nordstrom and I went with Nordstrom because I was having better experience with them um, with the shipping. Okay, the final product is my first, I guess you I would say dedicated bronzer. Well, it's called a bronzing powder. I got the Charlotte Tilbury oh, I forget what it's called. But I don't know if it's contour bronzer. Maybe it, you can use them for both. So that was the only product that I had so far. And then I cheated. See, because when I get the products, I can't wait to try them. I can't wait to film a video in order to try them out. So I cheated and I tried some of this on. So here is the Le Mer. Look at that, that's pretty. So I'm going to take this cover off. So that was a first. I didn't do that yet. Look at how pretty. So, you know, I haven't gotten it. This is actually my, I've tried samples of Le Mer skincare, but this is my first Le Mer product. Le Mer, Sicily, La Prairie, they're very expensive. Um, so here you go. I wanted to show you something. 
So in the pictures, so this is what was interesting in, in the pictures, at least that I saw at Nordstrom. They had like, I don't know how they did it. They had a picture of it like, like it was actually like this. It wasn't fully open. And so um, I thought that the dark, darkest color here was going to fill up the whole compact. I didn't know it was going to have this light section. So let me show you. There's that. I don't think if I put it on my hand, I don't think you'll be able to. I'll try to see it's right. Oh my goodness. You can't see it. Anyway, let me do the dark one. There's the dark. There's the light. There's the dark. And the middle one. And I got fuzz on my finger. And here's like the, the pink one. So there's the light, the bronzer, and then the pink one. And I guess I'll try, let's see, where's the light one? Okay, so here's the pink one, and here is the dark one. Maybe you can see that. Okay, if I could get my hand in the... See, you can only... Oh my goodness. Anyway, so I was really excited about this. And it does have a light perfume scent. I'm not sure if it might be the Lemire scent, their standard scent. It's it's not too bad. It's a light. The compact is pretty substantial. It it's, does look really like high-end. Okay, that's actually better. Ooh, look at that. Wow, it's focusing really well. Go figure. Okay, let me give you a real extreme close-up. Wow, that's really... That's really good. Why don't I get close-up? I don't know. I don't know if it's... Sometimes it doesn't focus close-up like this. That's pretty cool. Well, let me give you an extreme close-up of the Shantikai then. Sorry, it's, I used it. Look at that. Oh, and the other thing is, I did, I did do my nails. It's it's starting to wear off a little bit, but I did it in this gray color. So let's start off with the. I need to take a drink of my coffee. My coffee is not hot enough. It's kind of lukewarm. So I'm going to start off with the Chantecai Just Skin in Tinted Moisture Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 15 in the shade Bliss. Right? Yes, it's Bliss. Oh my goodness. Dog working. That's the shade Bliss. Which, you know, I could actually go one notch, I could go one notch darker if I got the darker shade, that would probably work too. So it takes time to figure out if you like a product. I don't like first impression actually. I didn't. I don't think I really liked this when I first tried it. But you know what, the most important thing that you can do is hydrate before you put your foundation on or your tinted moisturizer. Even though tinted moisturizer is a tinted moisturizer, I still, because I have dry skin, I still need to hydrate. I think I read that in my Bobby Brown book about the hydration. You have to really make sure your skin is hydrated. It Because it feels that, that's why I would have a hard time wearing primer. I, I, maybe I just don't need to wear primer because I have dry skin. But Hopefully my editor can edit this so it's like 20 minutes or 25 minutes. Oh, my editor. I said my editor. Most of the time I edit my own videos, but my son wanted a job. 
or needed a job or needs a job. So I've hired him as my editor. Okay, so I can't remember what order I'm supposed to do my steps in. I'm thinking the finishing powder is last. Where's the bronzer last? Oh my goodness. Okay, let me do a little bit more of this underneath here. Maybe I'll put a little bit more. Maybe I just don't use enough product. Maybe I should use more products. I mean, more of product. Okay, I mean that feels good. Did I miss any spots? I want to get it like kind of blended in my hairline here. I think I'm supposed to use the finishing powder last. I should know this, but I don't. Okay, so I think I'm not sure if I'm doing this in the right steps because I'm not a makeup artist. And what am I going to do? I don't know if I want the pink in there. I think maybe I'll try to do the top two with this. This is just a generic, well, it's a pro Sephora. So I'm gonna just swirl it. I don't really like um, fan brushes. This kind of fan brush. Okay, I could see, can kind of see something happening. Whoops. Yeah. I was going to get the Le Mer brush for, well, by the time this airs, it'll be after the Sephora sale. It's April 16th. Oh, so that's actually, see, I could see something coming off on there. It is a lot. I feel like this powder is a lot um, softer than the, what is it, Filmstar? Is it Filmstar Bronze and Glow thing from Charlotte Tilbury? It seems like it is. It seems like... It seems like I don't have to work as hard. That's what I wanted. I wanted a, pro a product that was softer. I don't know. I just... I don't like this shape. I prefer actually this shape. I could actually use that one. But I was going to use that one for my powder. Let me just rub this in some more. I feel like it needs to be blended. Yeah, I just don't... I mean, this this is a nice soft brush. I like the, but I just don't like the shape. I'm having it's awkward for me. I'm just having a hard time with it. I'm gonna use this. This is just uh, the Face Pro from Sonia G. I'm just oh, now there's a hair. So I think that looks nice. Um, I think it looks good. It's at this point, I would say I see a glow. It's more subtle between the bronzer and the contour because I feel like you could use them interchangeably because like when I went right here it does look a, like I contoured and then actually I was going to use this one for highlight so I'm just going to take okay let me do the blush first so I'm going to take a little bit of this happy because I thought well that's what I need I need this product because it says happy and look at it's like that's a nice spring color at least on what I have right now when I use it's kind of uh, stiff I don't know if it's because it's on top of the bronzer I like that that's pretty natural so this was the cheek gelé from Shantikai and okay we're going to go back to the highlight so i'm going to use the go back to the mirror bronzing powder and i'm going to use this this lightest one as my highlight and see how that i'm using the wrong brush oh well we'll just go with detail pro i usually blend with this one i was going to use this one but we'll just go with this okay so there it goes i think i put my blush up a little bit too high oh well that definitely needs to be blended, I think. And then this would it make a good blush, but there's not very much of it. I don't know if that really is really meant to be blush. So there's that. And hopefully I can do a simple eye. Let me shut this. 
going to use this powder, the finishing powder. And actually I'm going to put some on my eyes. But So I'm just going to take this uh, Sonia G Face Pro and put some powder on here. And just do that. Oh, I like that. When I blend, I, I don't know if I'm crazy about the blush and this product that I use as a highlighter because I think it was just the way I laid it down today because it wasn't like that. The blush wasn't like that. I was kind of I'm not liking this. I would I would use a different highlighter and I think maybe maybe put the blush on first. I don't know, I'll have to experiment. Okay, I'm gonna put some powder on my eyelids before I do this eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, my skin is feeling irritated from the brush for some reason. This is what we got so far. I just wanna brush my eyebrows. I'm gonna just use this I'm going back and forth if I should use this one again. I already did this one. It's really pretty. I like it. Maybe I'll use the color out of it. I don't know. We're, I'm going to just use this Estee Lauder. I got it with as a gift with purchase. And this is called... Let me see. I need my magnifying glass. Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy. And I don't know if they have this in a bigger palette. This is the... Um, colors and I'm going to use this second to last this shade right here in my crease and then we'll go from there I don't know if I want to really do a dark look okay so I'm going to use the Chicahoto GS GSN 10 and these lighter brushes tend to like get stained they look stained anyway I'm going to use that Ooh, that's... Boy, that picked up a lot. There's fuzz playing around and stuff. Okay, I'm going to try my hardest to do this. I look as fast as I can. I always feel like <clears throat> I'm too slow when I do this. Well, because partly because I'm not makeup artist and I'm still relearning how to put on makeup as an older woman. That's part of the problem. But in general, my pace of life is pretty slow. Okay, that's what we got right now. Let me see. I'm going to go back to this. I used this before. I'm wiping it off. This is the um, Blender Pro. I'm going to blend because the other thing is I haven't been blending like I noticed that I have like more of a harsh line and that doesn't look good okay that looks that looks better but I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put this lightest shade I'm gonna use the worker pro hmm, that one wasn't as pigmented okay there there we go but then that needs to be blend in. I don't know, it's kind of, I'm getting some kind of resistance. I'm getting eyeshadow resistance too. Mm. It's like whatever I put on my skin, or if I use it in the wrong order, or maybe because I put the finishing powder on my eye, who knows, there could be many different reasons. Because I used this one before, and this little palette before, and it was pretty good. So there's that. Let me just blend that. Barking dog. Another barking dog. Okay, so what am I going to do now? So I guess I will, okay, I'll go back to, I'm going to use this Worker Pro and I'm going to take the second to, second to the lightest shade and I'm going to put that on my eyelid. I'm just going to put it all over my eyelid, but I'm going to go in here a little hot. I, this is a cute little 
neutral palette. But I only got it because it had a gift with purchase. Or I could choose my gifts. This is one of the ones I chose because I thought that I would use. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm going to put some. This one's scary though. I'm going to use the darkest color. Or maybe I should use the other palette. Okay. I'm going to use. But this one is a li it's more red. Okay, never mind. I'm going to stick with this palette. I was going to go back to the Chantecaille palette. So I'm going to use the dark color in the outer corner. Man, I really got to clean my mirror. I can't see. There's like spots on it. And it's, um, some of it's going down the eye. I need to clean that up with something. I like how this color looks on top of what I already laid down. Okay, I'm going to take the Bobbi Brown Eye Smudge. Oh, that's scary. Okay, I'm going to mix these two last colors together. Okay, here's the final look. I did my, touched up my hair. And so the Alia mascara, I believe it's natural clean mascara. I really like it. So the brush is nice and no clumping. A lot of the mascaras people like, I don't like because I feel like they look clumpy. So let me get closer. I use this honeysuckle from Lip Chic from Chantecai. So that's honeysuckle. It's very nice. So there's that. Well, I hope you're all well and I hope you like this. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to be reminded of new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.